So the Bosch IoT suite is in this middleware layer for IoT. That means it sits in the middle between a world of connected things and a world of services and applications that sit up top and are often built on top of this middleware, delivering verticalized services for domains like Industry 4.0, automotive, smart home and building, smart city, and so forth. The Bosch IoT suite, by uh, providing this abstraction layer or this middleware layer between things and services and applications, similar to what you just heard Sanisha describe, allowing management and communication at scale, is effectively freeing up developers to focus on adding value in the top layer. This is the core value that we add with the Bosch IoT suite. But one of the other things that Sanisha mentioned only briefly, and I think is really important to emphasize, is that these are fully managed cloud services from Bosch. That means you have no software to run as a customer. These are provided in a form that can simply be subscribed and used. Today, these services are used extensively by groups within Bosch, vertical uh, business units within Bosch, and increasingly by external customers who we work with to build solutions like the ones that we've been showing you. We think of the Bosch IoT suite as a toolbox for developers. It consists of a set of independent services that can be used singly or together depending upon the requirements. I'm going to run through this list really quick and provide a short overview. Uh, more information is available on the BoschIoTSuite.com website on each of these services. It's publicly available uh, information. But to provide a brief overview, um, the first service in the list is the Bosch IoT Hub. The Bosch IoT Hub is the primary mechanism for supporting communications, connectivity, and messaging between things and services. The Bosch IoT Things service is uh, used to keep track of uh, the current state of devices in the real world. Sometimes this is known as a digital twin or a device shadow service. This is what the Things service provides. It allows applications to interact with devices via this digital representation. And it also supports different types of semantics as an abstraction layer over devices so that applications can speak effectively a language that's, that makes sense when interacting with devices for the different domains that the devices are, are part of. The Bosch IoT rollout service is specialized in the function of dealing with software updates for embedded systems at scale and on a very granular level so that you can package software updates in various different ways to be delivered to embedded devices in the field or gateways in the field. The Bosch IoT Remote Manager, you've just heard a lot about that. And the Bosch IoT Remote Manager is a service that we are uh, already making available and using in the Amazon Web Services Cloud. More about that in just a moment. The Bosch IoT Analytics service is really a collection of services that provide easy to use uh, capabilities to analyze device generated data. So our goal with the analytics services is to avoid the need to be a sophisticated data scientist in order to gain actionable insights from your uh, device or machine-generated data. And again, we have a collection of these services that fall under this umbrella of Bosch IoT analytics. And then finally, we have something we call Bosch IoT permissions. Bosch IoT permissions provides a consistent identity and authorization and authentication infrastructure for your IoT solutions that sits over the top and interacts with all of these services uh, that you may be using. Developers are able, as I said, to use these services uh, in a mix and match fashion. So they're able to pick and choose the services that they want and use them together in their solutions, together with underlying base services provided in the cloud. Now, so far, you've seen us show pictures like this at other events and on the websites. Uh, where all of these services are running on the Bosch IoT cloud. And that is absolutely the case and will continue to be the case. However, we have a new picture in mind that we're working toward, and that is to make our Bosch IoT suite also available on other public clouds. And we've chosen to start with Amazon Web Services. Amazon Web Services has been working very closely with us to enable this. And as of today, uh, this is 
Uh, this is news. As of today, we have the IoT Remote Manager service available in a public developer preview on AWS. I'll, I'll uh, show you in a minute how you can go check that out if you have an interest. We also have the Bosch IoT Permission Service uh, running on AWS. It is still a private or uh, restricted preview, but if you're interested in the IoT Permission Service, that's something that you can reach, us, uh, reach out to us about. Uh, we could uh, discuss with you whether or not that's something you might want to use and uh, get you onboarded to that. There are basically two reasons or rationales behind our decision to make the Bosch IoT suite available on AWS. One is that we see a real benefit for the customer in combining the rich services catalog that AWS has to offer as well as uh, uh, hosting services that are very mature, together with the industrial-grade IoT services that are specialized for IoT scenarios that we've built here at Bosch. So there's a very strong Better Together story and complementarity between the Bosch IoT suite and the AWS uh, cloud platform. Equally important for us at Bosch is that we recognize we need to go where the customer is doing business. And that means we need to go and be present and have our services available in the cloud platforms where customers are building solutions. In many cases, that may be the Bosch IoT cloud. In other cases, it may not. And therefore, we need to make our services available in those environments as well. And the other sense in which this is important, this availability, is that we need to have the global footprint to meet our customers and deliver solutions and services wherever those customers are doing business, in all geographies around the world. And this is something that Amazon uh, offers us. So with the global footprint of Amazon, we are able to get that kind of reach, uh, ultimately, to make those services available wherever our customers are. Good, so with that, uh, I'd just like to point out this website. This is the URL for the Bosch IoT Suite portal. And you can go here to sign up for and start using the Bosch IoT Remote Manager and to uh, track our progress in bringing our other services out on, uh, on AWS, as well as this will give you information about the services in detail if you have, uh, if you have an interest in learning more.